Every time you pump gasoline into your car, what you're actually pumping into your car are millions of year old dead algae. That's right. Gasoline, like most fossil fuels, are actually constituated from prehistoric algae that have undergone millions of years of tremendous heat and pressure. In today's society, the algal biofuel community is essentially trying to take this natural phenomenon and speed the process up as a means of clean and renewable alternative energy. The science is actually quite simple. Algae store a large amount of their energy from photosynthesis in the form of lipids, or fats. Uh, once these lipids are extracted, scientists have found a way to turn them into a petroleum substitute, which you can pretty much put in your car. My project attempts to bring algal biofuels one step closer to becoming a reality through finding the optimal growing conditions in terms of iron ion concentration as well as bioavailability that will yield the maximum Cynodesmus species biomass as well then from that biomass the maximum lipid yields. I tested my hypothesis through culturing my algae for five weeks in two liter photobioreactors. I measured growth weekly through the use of fluorometry. At the end of culturing, I proceeded to filter my algae with GFF filters, which allowed me to deduce the total algal biomass. After that, I proceeded to employ a nonpolar solvent extraction to get the energy-rich lipids from my algae. The results of this project were actually uh, quite exciting. You will get a more in-depth look at these results further along in, my, in this website. However, for now, I will share with you guys uh, what I believe to be the most uh, important and exciting result, which is the discovery of the existence of a subspecies of Cynodesmus species which seems to have a phenomenal natural lipid content as compared to the other uh, subspecies.